All right, the time now, 612. Time to check your weather here with Thomas. Mm -hmm. Waking up this morning, you got to be looking at the forecast out there, and it's got to put people in a good mood. Well, just to be able to look outside and not see clouds in the sky, it's a big change of pace. Yep, you get blue sky as soon as the sun comes mm -hmm. up. The roads are clear on your morning commute. Yep, this is a mm -hmm. sunrise warning that we're actually <laughs> going to see a nice sunrise this morning across the state because mm -hmm. high pressure is building in. And I know for a lot of folks, it's a welcome sight because we have seen a ton of snow. In the last several days, so and it hasn't been warm in the last little while. Either. No, I and mean, it's been feeling more like January rather than April. But look at some of these snow totals since this past weekend. Logan, 43 inches of snow, and that's down to the valley floor in Cache Valley. That's a lot of snow. Manaway, 39.7. The Bountiful Bench closing in on 30 inches of snow. Upper Mill Creek, 27.7. Fruit Heights at 24.3. Daybreak at over 17 inches of snow. Even Salt Lake City International Airport picked up around 15 inches of snow, along with Springville in Utah County and Cedar City. While we didn't see as much snow compared to at least when it comes to how many days we saw snow, we still picked up over 14 inches of snow, so it has been healthy. But look at some of the resort totals. Both Snowbird and Alta picked up over five feet of snow, and that snow was out there because we haven't seen, because the resorts were closed yesterday because of the avalanches that we saw in Big and Little Cottonwood Canyon. Canyons and Park City, 51 inches. Snow Basin picked up over 50. Powder Mountain closed in on 50 as well at 48. Cherry Peak at 44. Solitude and Brighton over 35 inches of snow. Deer Valley close to two feet. And Brian Head picked up 17 inches of snow. So it has been significant to say the least. And we continue to stack up that snow. Snow Basin is now in the 600 club, almost double what they normally see on any given year. And in Alta, we're now at 880 when the average is 538. Brighton at 850. Snowbird joins the 800 inch club at 808. We talked about that yesterday. Solitude 780. Park City Mountain 617 and 584 Deer Valley. It's hard to just fathom the amount of snow that is currently up in the mountains. But one thing I do want to make sure the point is known that the, in the backcountry, the avalanche does remain high for our northern Utah area mountains. So another day you want to avoid the backcountry, just stick to the groomers in the inbounds areas. There's plenty of fresh snow to enjoy. But the snowpack continues to climb now 28, 29.8 of snow water equivalent. And your snow water equivalent is how much water you'd be left over with if you were to melt all of that snow down. That's the statewide average, but the record before this year, 28.8. So we're an inch above the all time record in the beehive state. But as mentioned, we are going to be getting a little bit of a break. High pressure is settled in and we'll be looking at calm conditions as we go through today. Sundance looking absolutely incredible. They'll have their bonus days coming up tomorrow and for Saturday. So there'll be fresh snow to enjoy if you're going to be heading to the backside of Timpanogos there and a beautiful sunrise underway in southeastern Utah and Blanding. And we're going to need that sunrise because it is a chilly start to the morning. So those temperatures definitely feeling still more like January and Feb February rather than April. So if you're going to take your dog for a walk, maybe like Copper right here, it looks like he enjoys the snow, but Barbie will be able to take Copper for a walk. And along the Wasatch Front, those temperatures climbing into the middle 30s by 10 o'clock this morning and the low 40s by the early afternoon. And then by the heart of the afternoon, daytime highs in the low to mid 40s along the Wasatch Front. So still well below our seasonal averages, but instead of 20 to 25 degrees below average. Those daytime highs will be closer to 15 degrees below average. And in the Wasatch back, daytime highs near 40 degrees this afternoon. Mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies across the state, 46 degrees in Gunnison. Then in southern Utah, daytime high of 49 in Blanding, 54 in Kanab, and 64 degrees in St. George. And as we begin the future cast with that high pressure and control and with a southerly wind, that warming trend will continue. I think there will be a system that tries to undercut the high pressure going into our Friday and Saturday. But what that means for us is likely just a little bit more cloud coverage. The warming trend will continue and we'll continue with mostly dry skies as we go into and through this Easter weekend and keep a close eye on those temperatures here on the seven day forecasts. We'll see middle 60s in St. George for today, low to mid 70s for our Friday, middle 70s for Saturday, and we could be in the lower 80s on Easter Sunday with maybe middle 80s by the early portion of next week. So of course we will continue to keep a very close eye on any potential flooding concerns. Then along the Wasatch Front, it's low to mid 40s for today, dropping to below freezing once again tonight, but then it's low 50s for our Friday, middle 50s for our Saturday, and low to mid 60s for our Easter Sunday. It's going to feel like it should for this time of year for Easter Sunday, and we could even hit 70 degrees by early next week as the, as the breeze begins to increase. 